job well done. That appears to be the consensus from the College Football Playoff Committee as they wrap up their time here in Indianapolis, pack up and head home. Our city hosted nearly 100,000 people for the national championship. The playoff committee said today they're always going to remember the incredible volunteers. It seemed like there was a volunteer on every corner who had a smiling face and every answer. I've never seen anything like it. That's Hoosier hospitality right there. <laughs> the city was also criticized by some doctors, though, for not requiring masks or vaccinations to attend the championship game during this COVID surge. Also, the head of the Indianapolis Host Committee spoke about the decision to do just that. Here's what, here's what they said. Basically, from a national perspective, we're looking at what these trends are across the United States and trying to do things that are within protocols that seem acceptable. In the, in the case of football, um, the teams and the universities in their own home states need to decide what they're doing for safety, and then we tried to roll those protocols over into the national championship. Yeah, the game is over. Georgia won, but there were some big investments made in Indianapolis ahead of this past weekend. That includes two and a half million dollars in infrastructure. Some of that was used for lighting along Georgia Street and other streets surrounding Lucas Oil Stadium.